Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to talk about flash calculations using Raoult's law. And the agenda for this calculation uh, for this presentation is the flash concept and its types, flash calculations and deriving equations for isothermal flash. This is the only type of flash we are going to deal with in this course. Then we are going to arrive at the Rashford Rice equation, the RR equation, which is one of the most important equations in chemical engineering and is the basis for flash distillation and the basis of distillation operation as we know it in chemical engineering. Then the bubble and dew calculations and solving the Rashford Rice equation and the, its algorithm for isothermal flash. Consider, for example, what do we mean by flash? Flash is how to separate two phases or more, uh, but we are going to do deal only with the vapor liquid equilibria in this case, but this does not necessarily exclude other types of equilibria. For example, we can might encounter vapor liquid liquid equilibria, such as in petroleum industry. But we have a liquid feed and we would like to partially vaporize it, or we might have a vapor feed and we might want to partially condense it. That is, we will end up with two phase stream. So we can do this, if you remember your thermo one, in uh, a combination of pressure and temperature operations to increase or decrease the temperature and increase or decrease the pressure using a heat exchanger and pressure regulating valve to end up in the flash drum to separate the two-phase mixture into a vapor uh, stream and a liquid stream. In the liquid feed stream, we have the flow rate as F and the mole fractions as Z and T and P for the feed stream are TF and PF. For the vapor stream, we have the flow rate as V and the mole fractions are Ys and we have TV and PV as the pressure and temperature of the stream. And the liquid stream, similarly, we have the molar flow rate as L and uh, the mole fractions as Xis and the temperature and pressure are TL and PL. If we would like to have a degrees of freedom analysis, on this overall process, we will end up that we have three C plus 10 variables, and you might want to count them, and C plus five degrees of freedom. And if we specify the feed stream, which has C plus three variables, then we end up with two additional variables that we need to specify to make this system determinate. What do I mean by determinate? That is, it has a unique solution. So we have two additional variables. This leads to some types of flash calculations, seven types in fact. The first one is isothermal flash, where we will specify the temperature and pressure of the vapor stream, and four cases where we would specify the vapor over feed flow rate, which is the vapor fraction, whether it's a zero or a one. In the zero, it's a bubble point calculation. In the one, it's a dew point calculation. And we might uh, switch between temperature and pressure to end up with bubble point or uh, pressure or bubble point temperature and dew point pressure and dew point temperature calculations. We might specify that we have no heat transfer and the pressure in the flash drum or the vapor stream. This is called an adiabatic flash. And the general case is the non-adiabatic flash where we have a heat transfer and the pressure in the vapor out stream, which necessarily at equilibrium is the same as PL. So we are going to deal only with the isothermal flash case in this course. And uh, in general, the problem is posed as following, given the feed composition and flow rates. The feed flow rate is assumed to be unity as a basis. Remember, all the derivation that follows is based that on the feed flow rate is a unity. Now, you might want uh, to ask that, what if the feed flow rate is not unity? All you need to do is just use the scaling factor. For example, if your flow rate is 1,000 moles per hour, and the basis is one unit. So all you need to do is, once you get the vapor stream as 0.6, for example, 0.6 times 1,000 is 600 moles per hour going to the vapor stream and 400 moles per hour going to the liquid stream. So our basis is a unity. Wanted are the mole fractions in the vapor phase and liquid phase that are at equilibrium and the vapor fraction and liquid fraction or flow rates as you might want to call them in general. The derivation of the flash calculations is based on combination of material balances and equilibrium relationships. 
And if you recall your uh, principles, the overall material balance for this system is L plus V equal to 1. And you might say it's equal to F. Yes, it is equal to F. But if our basis for F is 1, then we can carry our, uh, on with this calculation. So species balance, it's ZI F equal XI L plus YIV. But the F is unity once again, so we end up with this equation. And from the overall balance, what we need to do is to eliminate the L in favor of V. So we end up with ZI equals XI 1 minus V plus YI V for each component. Remember now how many variables that are unknown using those equations. We have XI, we have C. And yi, we have another c and the v. So we have 2c plus 1 unknowns. Those equations are only c equations. So we are have c plus 1 unknowns. And we cannot solve this problem unless we combine the equilibrium relationships, for example, from Raoult's law. Raoult's law says that yi p equals xi p i Weber, but we opt to use the distribution coefficient. The distribution coefficient, by definition, is the mole fraction in the vapor phase divided by mole fraction in the liquid phase. And from our Oslo, it is pi vapor over p. So if we go and substitute instead of yi or xi, for example, yi equals ki xi, or xi equals yi over ki, we substitute in those equations, we might end up with two different equations. One of them for y and one of them for the x's. yi equals zi ki over 1 plus v ki minus 1 or xi equals zi over 1 plus v ki minus 1. Now, how many unknowns do we have right now? If you notice, we don't know. We have the zi's. We have the ki's. We have the ki's, but we don't have the v. So it does not serve us well until we do the common trick in thermodynamics, as we always tell you, sum over the yi's or the xi's. If we sum over the yi's, then we have this summation equal to 1, or the summation zi ki over 1 plus v ki minus 1 mm -hmm. minus 1 equal to 0, or fx, that's what we call it, summation zi over 1 plus v ki minus 1 minus 1 equals to 0. Now, if you notice whether we are using fy or fx, this is a single equation in single unknown. The only unknown in those two equations is v the vapor fraction. What do I mean vapor fraction? It is the ratio of the vapor flow rate the vapor flow rate divided by uh, the feed flow rate. A better way to solve this single equation is to subtract the, those two equations from each other. That is, I will subtract Fy from Fx. This will get, uh, get rid of the ones in the, those summations, and I will rearrange this equation and we'll call it the Rashford Rice equation. Rashford Rice equation is one of the most famous equations in chemical engineering and is uh, the basis for flash calculations in uh, distillation operation. So, this equation, once again, it has only one unknown that is the Weber fraction. So we can substitute our numerical values and solve this V. Why do I prefer the Rashford rise over the Fx and Fy equations? For the simple reason, Rashford rise equation is a monotonic equation. What do we mean by monotonic equation? From a mathematical point of view, it is guaranteed that this function is monotonically increasing. That is, it's increasing with V. And if you have this uh, condition met, it is sufficient to guarantee that any method, numerical method that you use will end up in the correct solution, regardless of the initial guess. If y and if x don't have this feature. So we prefer to use the uh, rashford rice equation. You might want to use a neutral raphson method or your calculator. It doesn't matter with me. rashford rice equation is not general for flash calculations. It can be used for bubble point calculations. Bubble point calculations, remember that V equals zero, that we have a saturated liquid. So if we have saturated vapor, V is a zero. So we end up with ZI KI equal what? For example, ZI KI over YI, remember it's YI over XI. And 
if it is ki over xi remember right now that you can solve this equation using iterative technique for the due bubble point pressure or bubble point temperature and similarly for the dew point V equals 1 right now in dew point we have a saturated vapor so we substitute instead of V a unity and we end up with this equation and using the splitting of the series we know that summation ZI over KI equals 1 so we can use bubble point or dew point calculations and flash calculations using rashford rice equation rashford rice equation to be able to solve it consider the number of components to make your life easy to make your life easy if we have two components or a binary system you end up with a linear equation for three components you end up with quadratic equation and for quaternary and above or higher number of components that is greater than three you end up with a polynomial of degree c minus one a good initial guess if you would like to opt for numerical methods is that V equals 0.5. Why do uh, 0.5 is a good initial guess? We know that V of a fraction is a fraction. And if being a fraction, it's between 0 and 1. And middle of, uh, point, middle point of that uh, interval is a good enough initial guess. A better initial guess is usually to use V0 equal B bubble minus P over B bubble minus P du. Uh, I will uh, refer to this later. For example, consider the binary system in Rashford Rice equation. It has only two terms in that series Z1K1 minus 1 over 1 plus VK1 minus 1 plus Z2K2 minus 1 over 1 plus VK2 minus 1 equals 0. Rearranging and uh, cross multiplying will give you that the vapor fraction is nothing but the summation of. Z2 K2 minus 1 plus Z1 K1 minus 1 over the multiplication of K1 minus 1 times K2 minus 1. And as a quiz for you, show that for a ternary system, the Rashford Rice equation reduces to a quadratic equation that can, can be solved using the discriminator method for V and derive a general expression for any arbitrary number of components using the Rashford Rice equation. Hence, you are going to get summations and products. And to be able to solve the Rashford Rice equations, a precaution and a trick. Carry out a bubble B and UB calculation before you can go to flash calculation. Well, that is before you solve the Rashford Rice equation. Why is that? We the pressure that is given should fall within the dew and bubble pressures. For example, in this uh, PXY diagram, those X's are single phase state points while in this area we have a two-phase region in two-phase region you can now flash into vapor and liquid streams while here it is still a single phase region so the first thing when you use uh, flash calculations you have to make sure that the total pressure of the system falls within the p du and p bubble so as an algorithm for isothermal flash what we know is the temperature, pressure, and the feed mole fractions. We know the components, so we can go to any source of uh, Antoine constants and evaluate the vapor pressure. How do we evaluate, evaluate the vapor pressures? We have the temperature. So and since we have the temperature and the constants for uh, Antoine constants, we can evaluate the vapor pressures. Now we can use the Raoult's law, that is, evaluate the distribution coefficient, which is Pi vapor over P. And now carry out the bubble and dew point uh, pressure calculations to make sure that the system pressure is bracketed between the dew pressure and the bubble pressure. If it is not bracketed between them, then the, your system is not going to flash. If it is bracketed between them, go and solve the Rashford Rice equation for uh, your components at the given con condition. Once you get the V from solving this equation, now we are ready to evaluate the yi's and xi's in this region. So as an example, consider an equimolar mixture of benzene and toluene at 370 Kelvin and one bar is to be fed to a flash drum. Determine the vapor fraction of the feed. If the total flow rate is 10,000 moles per hour, determine the vapor flow rate. Determine the composition of the vapor and liquid streams exiting the flash drum. Is Raoult's law a good model for such a system? 
Would you recommend ordinary distillation to separate those two components? Uh, just to analyze uh, this example before we go to the solution, once you see the word equimolar, it means that we have the same mole fractions. That is, we have two components. So we have 0.5 mole fraction benzene and 0.5 mole fraction toluene. So what we are given, uh, given as information, we are given the components, benzene and toluene. We are given the temperature, 370 uh, Kelvin. We are given the total pressure, one bar. And we, given, we are given the mole fractions as 0.5 and 0.5. So I'm going to Excel and solve, show you a solution by two ways. By two ways, what do I mean two, two ways? And I prefer usually to solve using a table format. We have temperature and pressure. First thing first is to evaluate the bubble pressure and the dew pressure. The bubble pressure is nothing but summation ZI PI vapor. And the dew pressure